Okay, so here are the two boxes. The base will be obviously here, the bigger one. And, uh, and we are going to unbox the big one first. As this is so big, we're just gonna use magic and make the box disappear. Okay, so we have one of the first three portraits. The helmet isn't gloss or metallic, which is too bad. I do prefer them to be gloss. Here is the second portrait. I forgot to mention that uh, his eyes are decals and the teeth looks really realistic, which is nice. And what they did differently is the logo here on Magneto's head. It's flat to his helm. And I kind of like this one more because his eyes is actually just white here. So this Magneto does have a very shiny red helmet. It's not metallic. It's also not that bright. Kind of looks like that it's marble due to the black spots here. Both of this guy have the same helmet and I believe it's also the same portrait. This one is the different one out of the two. So this is the eyes I believe of the sentinel and this will light up. We'll test that out later. Okay so this is in fact the base. So I got 148 out of the edition size of 150, so there's nothing really much there. Okay, so this is the base of the Sentinel base, the throne. Okay, so we have the throne here. So it does have a very big key, which will go to the base right here. Easy assembly, it looks really nice. This is probably the best Magneto throne I've seen so far. Okay, goody, so this one also has an art pop. So this is the art box. It's similar on the bigger, the first block. This is actually part two, so we did unbox it correctly. Since we have the base here, Mugito will be here. We just see the logo of Mugito and the helm. This one doesn't also have the pro straps, which is unfortunate. Okay, so he is a bit easier to remove. Magneto does have a lot of textures on the red parts as well as his belt actually and his underwear. Lots of textures which is really nice. There's a very big key here again which will go to the base. Very easy assembly. I don't know what this is. Okay, this thing will go here at the back. There's a very small key here, which will most likely be hard to find, so we'll find that later. Again, we have another eye, also has a light up feature. This one is blue. Yeah, okay. You have to remove the first part that we installed. Now we have Magneto's right hand. Okay, another part of the base. Most likely be on the other side. Okay, so Magneto's right hand will rest there. We're gonna get the last part of the base. The base is actually quite easy to install. Just a bunch of these big sentinel ports. And this one will most likely go here. Okay, I think this is the last item in the box. And we have Magneto's right hand. Let's try and use my favorite part. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we need to figure out the eyes. Unfortunately, we need to take Magneto out. So let's do some dimensions for this throne statue. Let's start with the height, which I think is also quite long. I mean, tall. So this 
statue is about 28 and a half inches tall as for the wheel it is a little shy of 18 inches wide and as for the depth of the statue of 21 inches deep. One of the most notable thing about this statue is its simplicity. The concept in my opinion is very elegant, rightfully so to be a throne statue, and I strongly believe throne statues should be this simplistic. They stand out more in my opinion at least, and doesn't become an eyesore with lots of extra stuff added to it. But this is a subjective matter. There are lineup features for both eyes of the Sentinel. It uses different kind of batteries. Unfortunately, I was not able to test them as I don't have the smaller ones available for the blue eye and making the other one light up doesn't make sense. But I kinda wish they used AC adapter instead and would have been easier to turn them on and off. Plus, we won't forget if we left the batteries inside and might leak out over time. Tell me in the comments below if you prefer batteries or AC adapters on statue. Me, obviously, it's AC adapter. Packaging was great because nothing came broken. However, it was too tight of a fit and was extremely hard to pull out of the black foam. That may have contributed to it arriving safely though. But just a heads up to you guys who hasn't unboxed it yet. You will need somebody to help you pull it out of the box and of course carry the big box and please velcro straps please the statue has a lot of great details and some areas where it looks like the sculptor got lazy there are a lot of this uh, bronze braided wires all around the statue also some regular ones right here however there are some of these empty spaces right here as well where it looks like it's just crumpled metal sheets definitely not a fan of that and i think they could have added something there instead Maybe a fuse box or a control panel, some mesh, or any other mechanical details would have added to its wow factor. Do you think this is a good competitor to the XM Magneto on front? Although the scale is extremely off on that one. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. As for paint, great paint job on the statue. Everything looks pretty good. My only comment is very subjective is that I wish the colors were a little bit more vibrant. But since it's a broken, beaten up sentinel, I do understand the art direction here. And as for sculpt, of course, uh, the sculpt is great. Lots of details on the throne, textures on Magneto's costume. Engineering is superb, very, very easy to assemble. However, I believe this is 1 and 3 fifth scale, but I could be wrong. Magneto's head is 1 fourth scale for sure because I compared it to my other Magneto's, but his body is definitely bigger than all of them. This might not be a deal breaker for others and will probably make them even love this statue even more, but it really did make the statue a whole lot bigger and I was expecting it to be smaller. So the portrait is not the best I've seen, I'm not gonna lie, but it does have an acceptable looking one which is the uh, portrait with the eyes painted white and not showing the teeth. They are the same exact portrait as uh, this one just painted differently. One is obviously matte and this one is the glossy one and I just realized I'm not a fan of the red they choose for the glossy one. It also does not come with an unmasked portrait which is okay in my opinion. I don't use them anyway. So that's a wrap on the uh, review. Let me know in the comments below on what you guys think of this Magneto on Throne statue. If you want to see more custom statue unboxing, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future contents and stay tuned every Sunday afternoon 1pm Pacific Standard Time. I upload custom statue updates on what's new and hot so you don't miss out on future grails. This is Carl and see you in the next one.